Up to the starting already. We've got uh, Alex starting off with a, a parallel and an end. Nothing too terribly exciting, but you know, the game is underway. Mm -hmm. We're getting rolling. Um, um, we've got. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Raul sitting there with that shiny execute up top. Um, I think Alex changed sleeves. It, it does look like he changed sleeves. Was he? Was he playing black sleeves yesterday? Uh, I think he was playing black sleeves. Yeah. Um, start of the lone egg is always rough, especially since Rahul only plays one of those. Um, granted, though, the deck is pretty consistent, so um, it's not the end of the world for uh, Rahul to try to find something else. Uh, looks like he does have a, um, an Ultra Ball in hand. He's going to be able to grab some other things, but uh, that just that Juniper discard signals a... Uh, he's got a Verse Seeker most likely in hand. Mm -hmm. um, ready to go. I think he might pitch into some other supporters. I don't know if he's going to start going aggro Pokemon just yet. Yeah. I, I mean, Roll has to know that these Drain Guard decks, decks are playing the Oracorio, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, he's played this deck for a long time. He, he's, he's very uh, famously super into Vespa Queen, yes. right? Yes. So... You know, he's seen an Oracorio before, so he, he I'm sure that he's kind of aware of, like, when and where the critical masses are, when he should be going over them, when he should be mm -hmm. taking it slow. So, you know, I, I'm really excited to see kind of uh, what he's able to accomplish against uh, an Oracorio like that. You know, it's going to be cool to see how he plays around that, if he can, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's really interesting to see the, um, uh, some of these older decks like Blastoise, like uh, Vespaquin, um, like these decks of old that are actually making a giant comeback because of the shifts in bands and meta and a whole bunch of other things that make old decks viable again. Yeah, I um, mean, uh, we really saw a, a lot of kind of, you know, newer concepts that were, I mean, I guess Zorak specifically. We say newer, like, like there was a bunch of them, right? Zorak was <laughs> super, super taking advantage of Hex and Getsus and just, I mean, you know, these cards were cool and they could provide unique effects to the game, but just kind of the way that Zorak existed, it was able to play them in a manner and a way and just over a course of a game that I guess Pokemon never really intended or wanted. And it really like, just shut down so many of these older ideas yeah. that, that, that used to be good, right? Mm -hmm. um, but now that they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know? um, Trying to figure out how many Pokemon Rahul has added in his discard now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at least two, uh, maybe three, because I know he pitched the Giratina. Yep. And that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Um, as if he sits at right around ten Pokemon, he'll be able to shot uh, Garbodors. Um, but with ten Pokemon, Alex will be able to bring Oricorio back and take at least one prize. Mm -hmm. See, I, I think that those uh, little number differences are going to be pretty key to this matchup, right? Um, you know, it, 10 for B-Revenge knocks out the Garbodor. That's one short of taking mm. a Shaman. So yep. Something like that, right? Right. So uh, I'm excited to see kind of where this, where the math comes up, when mm -hmm. it matters, and all that kind of stuff. So. I was really interested. I knew Rahul was playing Bs. I mean, we all knew Rahul was playing Bs coming into this, and I was really curious to see if he was playing it with the um, Gallade or not, because I know that it used to be played with Gallade. We'd play, like, one Tropical Beach, one Gallade, one... Um, maxis and just like kind of shoved that into a list that already kind of played it. Um, but he's opting not to. Uh, in favor, I assume, of like two shots. Um, yeah. Somehow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, he's kind of, I mean, like we said, it's very traditional. He's got the blacksmith and the flareon. Um, you know, it really looks like he, he was trying to favor having access to like energy and consistently attacking. You know, maybe scared of stuff like Trevenant that have so much removal. I mean, there are a lot, a lot of Ildex here today, right? So something like the the Blacksmith engine really gives him a, a lot that he can do to stay alive when you know, his DCs are being targeted pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I think the other thing right here to note is the, the direction that Alex played parallel. Uh, considering that uh, both sides kind of hurt Rahul, right? Like it's mm -hmm. it's either the damage reduction on one side or the bench reduction. Uh, and since Rahul only plays the one parallel city and no other way to bounce it, no um, uh, 
uh, no field blowers or Rosic or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, whichever side Alex denotes to stay will stay. Yep. It'll stay until he chooses to blow it and, and flip yeah. it around. Yeah, and that's right. and that's exactly right. Like he will be able to reverse it since Alex is playing three parallels. So mm -hmm. if he needs to reverse it, he will. Yeah, I mean he's got the three parallels. I mean he only has the one field blower, but he's got Dowsing Machine too. And I think he, if I remember correctly, nope. <laughs> See, we should be we should be uh, familiar with Alex's list by now. But I thought <laughs> yeah. he was like, oh, but Delinquent. But I forgot he doesn't play. Delinquent. That was uh, that was uh, Oliver that played Delinquent yesterday. Yeah. 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 Which I, which I love. Too, too many Drampa Garbs, you know. Can't, can't, can't keep up with them. <sighs> too, many, too many games of Pokemon. Dang it. That's <laughs> really it. Yeah, you're right. That, that's really <laughs> at the core of all of this. Um, so, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, Alex, out of the gate, which of these decks do you think has uh, is more favorable? Against each other? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, in this matchup, like, who do you think just inherently has the advantage? <sighs> it's hard. To, it's. I think inherently Alex has the advantage mm. um, purely because you, you have a kind of a variance of attackers uh, you're not you Rahul's strategy is very uh, linear right mm. it is it is let's dump and attack yep. easy as that whereas Alex has a lot of different tools that he can play with um, for different situations he can like pivot based off how fast or slow Rahul is going Mm. Um, and like we said, I think that Oricorio does make a little bit of a difference as well because Rahul can't go too crazy. Because if Alex ever gets, um, if Alex ever gets uh, two prizes with that Oricorio, it'll go in his favor. Oh, yeah. Most of the time, you're just going to try to trade uh, Nani X one shots, right? Mm -hmm. um, that Lele on Alex's bench is looking real good to Rahul. Uh, that Shaman on uh, Rahul's bench is looking really good uh, to try to take that uh, prize race lead. Uh, if that doesn't happen, it's going to be you know first to six knockouts, um, and uh, you're going to try to avoid ever giving up two presses in one turn. So that's where I think the Oricorio swings it, and that's why I think I give it a little bit to Alex's favor. Mm -hmm. Without the Oricorio, it then becomes don't bench any Nani Xs, mm -hmm. and in that scenario, Rahul, if he can avoid playing those Shamans or keep them off the bench um, and force Alex to take all six knockouts, it's a lot, you know a lot easier to, to stream Rahul's stage ones as opposed to Alex's stage ones. Yeah, yeah. No, and, and you know, it, it's not not only like, it, the, you know, Alex has the, a, a thick Garbodor line, right? You know, he can definitely stream a couple of them, but, you know, Rahul's got a 4-4 four, four of both of those main uh, attackers, uh, so. Two, yeah, 4-4 four, four of two different stage yeah, one lines. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so he's going to be able to, to keep those coming mm -hmm. much better yeah. than Alex would be able to trade trash and inches, right? And that's why I really liked the adaptation from Alex there, taking his first knockout with Latios, mm -hmm. because it saved a, t a stage one evolution. Yep. It saved it uh, of him having to use it, mm -hmm. and that's how he was just going to prize race it here. Um, so now, yeah, it's just for, you know, it's the standard first to six wins. Mm -hmm. um, Rahul has uh, energy, you know, he's, he's going to stream his attackers a little bit easier. Um, but Alex does have opportunities to take two prizes at times. Yep, 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 yep. So that 30 damage on Vespa or on Flareon might be big. Oh boy. Yeah, Rule's hand is not looking good. I mean, he's got an Ultra Ball, some Pokemon, but you know the Toxin in the back. You know, yeah. shutting him down. You would you would think that uh, Gobble Toxin isn't as important um, in a matchup where the, your main attacker doesn't play. Uh, um, where your main attacker doesn't play abilities or anything like that, mm -hmm. but because of uh, the reliance on Shaman, yeah, there's the top oh, deck and scoop. Just calling it. I, there were three versus seekers in the prizes. Did you see that? No, I there didn't. There were at least two. I'm pretty sure there were three. Oh, that was nuts. All right, so Alex McNeil stealing a quick game mm -hmm. one. Roll hitting hitting that hard dead draw. But uh, Vespaquin goes quick, right? Mm -hmm. Vespaquin is a is a is a fast paced deck. Yep. So. Uh, Losing game one, you're not worried about tying. You're not worried about um, a, a really long game two. And that game took, what, ten minutes? If that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this game should not be uh, – I think I probably would have scooped at the moment that Alex played the Guzma onto the Shaman just to save, like, a minute. But mm -hmm. Rahul doing the right thing, scooping it up really quick, knowing that he can't race Alex to six anymore. So, good scoop on Rahul's part. Yeah, I mean, he, Better he, play he, on he saw the part. writing on the wall, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was kind of, you know, we talked a little bit about this yesterday. It's, 
Yeah. When you think you're gonna scoop, it's like, yeah, maybe give it like one more turn, and he gave it the one more turn, and just like, no. I, I, I think one of the most, I think the the Latios attack was absolutely amazing. To yeah. be honest, like, it's something that I think a, a a vast majority of it's what separates like good players from average players, yep. right? Yep. Your average person that that has been playing for a year, that picked up the deck, that's learning how to be a good player, might just go into Garbodor and attack and be like, oh cool, I took a quick prize. But Alex says, nope, I have a tool for this specific situation, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I, I think that the Latios is really what sets his list apart from all of those we've seen. Like, mm -hmm. he, his is the only list that we've seen play Latios at all, I'm pretty yeah. sure. So, uh, and I mean, we've seen that card make splashes here and there. I mean, that 30 snipe damage, just, just enough, setting up different things here and there. And it really is uh, proving to be a pretty worthwhile inclusion. For sure. Uh, I do like Rahul, since he is playing the old style of uh, Flareon. Yep. Um, having that, uh, those fire energies to get going, a little bit more consistency. Mm -hmm. um, that's just, just going to lead back to our idea of who will be able to uh, trade uh, trade knockouts just a smidge easier because he plays a little bit more consistency. Oh. Oh, with a pass. A pass and a big wheel back. Uh, yeah, he has a flare and he has a DC. But I don't Was that a Juniper that he top decked? I hope so. I definitely don't want to see him draw dead twice in a row and lose in 15 minutes. That would not be yeah. really fun. Um, it's not how we. That's not how we envisioned round 12 stream to go. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, pretty deep into the tournament, both of these players are still very much. Uh, Second attack, baby. 90 damage. Oh my gosh. Heat tackle. I think it's called. Oh, right. Oh, heat tackle. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so you can two shot because he can't get the two shot with the first attack. You're right. The thing is that. Uh, how much is he? Heat tackle makes him do like 10 or 20 to himself. 10 right? to himself. It's 90. Oh, it's 10. It's 10. 10. Oh. I was afraid the Drampa was gonna get him. Well, the drummer will be able to do 20 and take off the DCE, so Rahul will have to hit another DCE yeah. if he wants to take a knockout. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking, you know, if Alex hit, like, hits a DCE, he could berserk if it did 20. Um, but something that we're noticing, I'm, I'm pretty sure Alex put the damage side facing Rahul to stop the heat tackle from knocking <laughs> out the Drampa. Yep. Um, also pretty huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I he's mean, holding on to an N in his hand. Right. He's just like, no, like, why would I play that? <laughs> interesting interesting uh, play here where Alex is opting to, yeah, he is putting the, no, the damage side is the red side, right? Is it? I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, okay, okay. so yeah, because I think this ultra ball would go for a Lele, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Um, the other option is going for the Garbotoxin. Mm -hmm. um, so that makes... He is thumbing that Garbotoxin to the front. There it is. Maybe, maybe he's just thinking... Nah, I'm just gonna shut him down. You know, he, he didn't open so hot. I'm just gonna toxin lock him. Try to, you know. That's exactly it. Yep. Rahul uh, had to heat tackle, which just signals to us and the rest of the world that he's got nothing in yep. that hand. Yep. So might as well take out the ver the ultra ball outs and the shaman outs to the deck. Just, just really, uh, you know, a again what you were saying that Alex is. I mean, he's one of those players that is consistently able to recognize the board state, you know, see what kind of game specifically is being played right now mm -hmm. and adapt to it. You know, like maybe normally he doesn't go so aggressive with getting that toxin out, but he, he recognizes Raul is, you know, he's drawing very dead. So he's like, okay, yep. I need to just slow him down even more to, to ensure that I, I don't lose this game. Yep. Yep. And uh, the not ultra balling for the Lele saves the, the another EX going down. Yep. So Raul and does oh. have another DC, but he top decks that Flareon. All right, he gets the so knockout. He'll get there two prizes. Least. Didn't see what he drew from it, but uh, so yeah, you're right. It is one of those situations where Alex could have done the damage side onto Rahul and stripped the DCE. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think Alex was like, you know what, stripping the DCE good enough, especially if he takes these two prizes. That's two DCEs that Rahul is now committed for two prizes. I mean, uh, a bright, I'm uh, bright side of uh, 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 Rahul drawing so dead is that he only has one item in the discard. Yep. So, you know, Big that, time. that uh, the trash lanch isn't isn't doing much yet. And not a lot of uh, um, not a lot of Pokemon. Oricorio can't take advantage either. Exactly. I like, I'm pretty sure that both trash lanch and Oricorio are actually short of a knockout on this. So, um, I, I think that the only way we see Alex actually taking a prize this turn is through a floatstone and drawing some sort of uh, like a Lele to attack with, That's or by just getting a DC and 
using acid spray. Yeah, because he's done. He tackles done enough damage to himself yep. and through the righteous edge, where I am thinking he has 40, so 60 left, right? Yep. 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 So that uh, uh, acid spray will do it. Mm -hmm. But regardless, you're right. He will need to draw a DC. Does he bench the lele in his hand? No. Nope. He's like, ah, I'm not. I'm not giving you any. any the other thing you could get is uh, enough tools and tool drop. Very true. Two more oh yeah, I guess you could just attach another energy and tool drop, right? Two more, two more tools and an energy. We'll so do it. I don't see any energy in Alex's hand. Um, there, there is one energy in there, but it. Oh, there it is. It's not enough tools end. though. Yeah, you're right. It's a psychic. Uh, so there's one tool on board. Mm -hmm. I saw a choice band in his hand. I don't think there was another. The other thing we are not considering is the fact that uh, while Alex will miss a knockout, I think Rahul will miss a knockout as well. Yep. Because uh, not enough uh, Pokemon in Rahul's discard. There, there really aren't. I mean, That's he, why he's heat tackling. <laughs> That's why he's heat tackling indeed. Um, you know, it's it's definitely not the uh, the most used attack in the Flareon deck. But, I mean, 90's fine, right? You know, it sets up yep. you know, two shots. You know, we saw two shots at the Drampa. You know, it's... it's you definitely uh, seen worse cards on these back, you know, worse yep. backup attacks on these car kind of cards. There's an Eevee to stay alive. What did he get off the prizes? There's an unknown, but he can't use it. Yeah, it's. Man, this is. A Lysander. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So he'll go ahead and Lysander and hit 90 here. Oh no, he's gonna. He's not gonna heat tackle. Yeah. Uh, can't back to back heat tackle and stay alive. How much? So that did 40. Dream did 60. So he's at 70, 80 probably. Um, so he can take 20, he only takes 20 to get knocked out. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess, between the Heat Tackle and the Vengeance too much. I mean, Ooh. especially not now. <laughs> Ace Arola huge there, because yep. he'll be able to get the Garbotoxin back up. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it's got energy on it. He's setting up for that uh, Sludge Bomb. Yeah, buddy. It's coming. So, Alex, you know, Methodically, systematically, you know, it feels like a. Uh, now it's now it's rough, right? You're holding on to two unknowns. You bench one just so you promote it next turn. Well, uh, I don't see what, what I, I can see what the other card is. It's an unknown and. I think it was a full art blacksmith. Oh, uh, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, man, that looks. Like, I've never seen that card. Yeah, before. really dark and full art and everything. You're like, what the hell is that? It, it was in one of those uh those boxes too, right? The one XY the collection that cost like three hundred dollars. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> those things are those things are crazy. It was it was about a hundred, but still, yeah. for a uh, for full art delinquent, you bet your top dollar I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had a bunch of really nice things. Yeah, in it. yeah I could definitely see it. Uh, it was, because it had full art hex, full art delinquent, full art a lot of things that stable I played. So full art of a lot of things that didn't have full arts yet. So mm -hmm. good stuff. Full uh, art flare grunt. Yeah. Oh man. Raul just drop taking a float stone. I mean. At least Alex can't do much yet. I mean, the, the way his board is set up now is it's very reactionary yep. to the Vespaquin deck, right? Like, all of the stuff he has out is, like, ready to respond to what yep. Raul does, but Raul is not doing anything. <laughs> so there's nothing to respond to. And that's exactly it. Even if Rahul were to get online, set up, and ready to go, uh, Alex has not benched any EXs, mm -hmm. and uh, with another knockout becomes even on prizes. Um, well, who's not the worst such scenario, right? Because if he gets a supporter, he'll be back in with the prize race ahead. Yep. Yeah, it, but it, it does make me a little. I mean, I guess the math probably won't matter, but uh, you see him kind of like poking away at all of Robo's little guys with the guard, right? Because he's not doing anything else. Mm -hmm. But that poking away is not something that. The Vessel Quinn deck is used to, you know, it's not used to its Pokemon being poked away at, yeah, and it's going to make the Oracorio more potent later. Or it's going to give it more opportunity to take some, like, multiple knockouts. Yeah. You know? Roll top deck to Vesper Quinn there. Man, this is brutal. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, Alex, I guess he's just going to do another 20. He's been looking for that double colorless. So I don't think he's found one yet. He just, uh, 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 Alex? Did, did he just top deck He just it? top decked one, but he doesn't need it right now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But you're right. And Parallel City. Just dead card after dead card. This is yeah, wild. Uh, no, he's holding on to a float stone. And now at this point, Alex will go ahead on the on the race. So even if Rahul gets something, he's going to need... He, he's he's going to be playing catch-up for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, there's an Eevee. Mm -hmm. That's uh, not doing a lot. He's going to shift it back over. I mean, you know, one good thing about these kind of situations, uh, you know, even in this 
abysmal situation. You know, this this back-to-back -back dead draw, you really see Raul kind of, uh, he's still, he's keeping his calm, you know, he's staying focused. He, mm -hmm. he, you see him, he's really, like, looking at all of his cards every turn, really thinking, there's, what can I do? How can I do it? Um, that's something. Um, you know, it's, it, you, there's a, you could see Alex kind of being trapped for a little bit. Uh, I mean, that hand is really big, so maybe not. Uh. Yeah, he might have a goose one there. So you, actually, you know what? He has a DCE. Yep. And that garb, I believe, is three retreat. It does. That it does. <laughs> well, I mean. It does. So I don't. Oh, man, that's so rough. Like a. I feel like you could kind of imagine Raul just top taking it versus he can just like, well, I guess I'll goose man again. There's course off the top. There so he's alive. Is. All right. He's not dead yet. Right, exactly. Because at this in the, you know, at this juncture, uh, Rahul still has not played a lot of items. So Garbodor is still not one-shotting Flareon. Mm -hmm. If he's if Rahul is able to rip Flareon, DCE, and enough ways to get rid of Pokemon, uh, you could get a return KO and make this game real interesting. Yep. yep. Um, he needs a lot for that combo, though, um, and Alex can, I mean, if he gets that many Pokemon, or Corio can now snipe the Flareon on the bench and put uh, Alex into one prize. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it, it really seems like, I mean, Alex is set up, he's got both trash, trash Lanches out, you got the Ori Corio, the Tox, I mean, there's even another Trubbish there waiting to stretcher the Trash Lanch back, right, mm -hmm. to keep cycling it. Um, yeah, can I read the Entei? You sure can, sir. Busted. So yeah, it, and it's good in this matchup too. Like it's it an Onyx attacker with 120 HP. He just hasn't been real. I mean, it, I don't. His Corvus for six was not even like great. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna go up and just stall with the Entei. Don't play any items. Chill. Just keep waiting until he has a has a shot. There's a DCE down onto the guard. Powering that thing up. Just in just in case it gets the Guzma again. That's. I mean, he's doing what 40. Uh, yeah. I kind of figured he would attach it up to the up top to the trash lane so he could go 70-70. Maybe Alex is like, eh, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm far enough ahead. I don't need to push uh, that. Yeah. I'd rather guard against getting disgusted. I think you're right. I think that's exactly it. Is that he's just, uh, he's, he's fine, right? Like yep. he's, he's got two trash flanches out. His Oricorio, even Latios. Like if he needs to start spreading, like he's, his board is as set up as you want it to be in this situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, oh, watch out. This cord there, buddy. there you go. Um, um, so yeah, it, that's exactly it. Is this? It's Alex is totally fine with just drawing and attacking. All right, so we do see Raul with the blacksmith here, able to get two of those fire energy out of the discard. Ooh, and he, enough Pokemon on the discard to, for a knockout. There you go. Well, uh, it's the Entei. Oh, it's the Entei. So you use Combat Blaze. Yep, Combat Blaze. Twenty plus twenty for each of those bench Pokemon back there. I mean, Raul played the Compressor, but there's only two items in there now. Mm -hmm. Not very many Pokemon. Uh, there's actually, it's going to be tough for Raul to get this knockout because I think Entei has 120 HP. It does. Kind of so big. I mean, it took 40, but it's got 80 left, but none of this I'm stuff is going to do 80. Yep. I'm curious how many Pokemon are in Rahul's discard pile to see if this Oricorio will hurt or not. Mm -hmm. um, there's one more rainbow. In, uh, um, Alex still has a, a rainbow in his hand, so I don't think he's too worried about energies. He's going to need at least three more energies, obviously, because of... Or two more energies, right, for two more prizes, at the very least. I mean, man, he's kind of low on resources. There's only four is. or five cards in his deck. Honestly, things don't look that bad for Raul. Right. Like, considering what this game has looked like. Considering the start of the game, this is coming down to be a little bit closer than you'd anticipate. Um, I think, at the very least, Alex will be able to attach an energy to, if he wants it, he can attach an energy to the um, Oricorio and take the Eevee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think he's really regretting the DCE attachment onto the guard yep. now because he could have acid sprayed the Entei for knockout, mm -hmm. saving the Oricorio. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so, yeah, yeah cause let's see, that thing had a muscle band, so if he attached the DCE, he would have acid sprayed it for 90, it would have 30 left, and then he could knock it out with anything, right? Because, yeah, the trash range could do 40. 40, 80, yeah. yeah. So. DCE uh, going on oh, the Oh, he does have another DCE. He, I mean, if he wanted, he could put a Lele down. If he has, I think there's one in his hand. Uh, you don't want to give you don't want to give Rahul two prizes though. Rahul does only have two Pokemon in the discard, and there's two Compressor. Well, he's got more than two in the oh, discard. Oh, does he? Discard. I oh, think. Okay. This 30-30 is gonna be big though. I think. Oh, Alex yeah. uh, yeah, has knocked out enough Pokemon. Like he's knocked, he's taken four prizes, so that's at least four Pokemon, right? 
There's at least four, yeah. Yeah, because he's taking four prizes. All right, you're right. Um, plus about uh, Rahul Battle Compressor turn one, getting rid of an egg and uh, the Giratina. Yeah, so there's there is a good amount of Pokemon in there. Mm -hmm. um, the DC, uh, it's, I'm I'm really curious to see what Alex will attack with because uh, it, it obviously might be a lot of guys here, but there's a lot of good ideas. At this point, he's just thinning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's just trying to set himself up to to get end next turn or something and just really oh, make sure that he's able. Alex to almost double attached there. Realized, oh, I touched the DC already. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I, I was wondering why he was doing the snipe because it it doesn't really make sense, right? But he's just setting up the Oracorio play yes. a little bit. That's yep. what he's doing. Because now Alex or Rahul has to deal with either Latias um, being able to take a knockout, like two knockouts, or um, Oracorio taking two knockouts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it's a tall order for, I mean, not a tall order, but Rahul could get Guzma, right? Like. Yep. And take off the Oricorio, but the Latios will come back up and pop him back. So and you see the oh, Battle Compressor coming down from Rule. He's probably going to put the end in the discard. I think he has a Versus Seeker as well. So he's just going to, I guess, hope that Alex doesn't draw a, an energy. Uh, problem, the other problem now is that there's a lot of items in the discard, so mm -hmm. Trash Lanch will be taking knockouts. And so you're right, Rahul will end him, hope Alex bricks. Uh, Rahul will knock out on the Latios, knock out on the Garb, and if if Alex missed in two ener two turns with energies, Rahul could steal this. Yep, exactly, exactly. So not out of, I mean, it, it is cool to see that he still has a shot considering, mm -hmm. you know, everything. it is. <laughs> this yeah, if if Alex bricks off of these two cards, it could get real. Oh yeah, so he'll get these two cards and he'll get a prize card. Oh true. From Trash Lantern, oh, the energy. The first yeah. Card, yeah. I think Alex is pretty so, stoked to see that. Yeah, I'm sure. He, like, he just he just knows now that it's oh, oh combat it's only plays doesn't get the knockout anyway. Is it 20 plus? Oh yeah. And then there's the energy down there, and there's game. And Alex will Oracorio. knocking out the Entei and the Flareon at the same time. Yeah. So uh, about a 25 minute game there. Nothing too. Uh, yeah, Rahul's like, oh, I mean, yeah, I just bricked on stream. I mean, yeah, he just. I mean. <laughs> He did nothing wrong, but he just like stared at all of his cards while they were yeah. colorful different Pokemon that just mm. clumped up his hand.